Hi, I'm Teresa, Product Marketing Manager for Android and Google Play. Welcome to Google Play Policy Bytes, and thank you for joining us today. We'll cover new policies, recent updates, and key reminders. Let's start with the new target API level and request install package policies. Google Play partners with developers like you to deliver the world's most innovative and trusted apps to billions of people. In addition to our tools and policies, we launched new Android OS versions to improve privacy, security, and user experience. People around the world have devices that run on different Android versions. So every app has a target API level written in their code to tell their app how to run on these different versions. And as people use newer devices or update their Android OS, we want to make sure that we meet their expectation for better security and privacy. So we already require new apps and app updates to target Android API level within one year of the latest major Android OS version release. New app and app updates that don't meet this requirement are blocked from submission in the Play Developer Console. Today, we're launching a new policy to further protect users. Starting November 1, existing apps need to target an API level within two years of the latest major Android OS version release in order for new users with devices running more recent versions of Android OS to discover or install those apps from Google Play. This means that if your app has a target API level that's older than the latest three Android OS versions, these new users will not be able to find or install your app from Google Play. Your users who already installed your app from Google Play will continue to be able to discover, reinstall, and use your app on any device running an Android OS version that your app supports. Most of the apps on Google Play already meet these standards, but we know this may require substantial change for some developers, so we're giving a longer grace period. If you need more time, you'll also be able to request an optional six-month extension in your Google Play Developer Console later this year. Next, we're introducing the request install package policy to give users better protection and control over apps that may self-update or download harmful APKs. The request install package permission allows an app to request the installation of app packages. In order to use this permission, the core functionality of your app must include sending or receiving app packages and enabling user-initiated installation of app packages. Here are some examples of permitted functionalities. Web browsing or search, communication services that support attachments, file sharing transfer management, and enterprise device management. Now, let's talk about our recent updates on news, user-generated content, and accessibility policies. Starting with news, we're expanding the scope of this policy to cover more news apps that are currently falling outside of the policy. Before this change, the news policy only covered those that declared themselves as news in the Google Play Console. Now, we're expanding the policy scope to also include news apps that list themselves under the news and magazines category on the Play Store and describe themselves as news in the app title, icon, developer name, or description. We are also updating the policy to allow one method of listed contact information instead of requiring two and to allow original publishers to omit listing authors for every article. Please note that links to social media accounts are not sufficient forms for publisher contact information. Next, to support diversity of content within user-generated content platforms, apps under the UGC category that allow incidental sexual content on their platforms need to implement stricter moderation mechanisms. They must also meet all of the following requirements. This content must be hidden by default behind filters that require at least two user actions in order to be completely disabled. Children must be explicitly prohibited from accessing your app by using age screening systems, such as a neutral age screen. And you must have provided accurate responses to the content rating questionnaire regarding user-generated content. And last, to provide more security protection for users, we're clarifying that the Accessibility API is not designed and cannot be requested for remote call audio recording. To use this API, your app must be publicly declared in your app listing as an accessibility tool. Now, let's share some key reminders. Let's start with the data safety section, which is an upcoming feature in your app's Play Store listing, where you can share how your app collects, shares, and protects user data. 
As developers have been filling out their form in Play Console since last year, we've received some questions and shared new updates with you. So we'd like to take the time to clarify information today. First, we've extended the timeline to give developers more time to review the updates and make changes. We're launching this new feature in Google Play Store later this month. If your information isn't approved yet, then it will show no information available. Completed data safety forms will be required for all new app submissions and app updates starting July 20th. We also have some tips and reminders to make this a smoother process for you. First, all apps must have a privacy policy that's posted in the Google Play Console and within the app itself. Even apps that don't collect or share user data need a privacy policy. And second, make sure to check if your SDKs or third-party libraries collect or handle any data. If they do, you'll need to declare this in your form. And third, if you'd like to work on the form offline or submit a form for multiple apps at once, you can download a sample CSV file, complete it, and then import it back into your Play Console. Please also check out our Help Center at this link to read FAQs and find additional resources to help you fill out your form, like our developer guide on how to check your app's declared permissions, APIs, and libraries. Since March 1st, you can go into the Data Safety Form in Console to add optional badges to showcase how you protect user data in your data safety section in the Play Store. If you're in our Families policy, you can choose to add this badge to show that you're committed to following our Families policy. If you're in our Independent Security Review Beta program and your app has been independently validated against a global security standard, you can choose to add this badge to highlight your additional security practices. This is an optional program that will expand to more developers in a couple months. And if your app doesn't share any data or doesn't collect any data from third parties, we'll highlight that for users here. And for a full list of recent policy updates, please visit goo.gle slash playupdates. Now let's talk about upcoming policy deadlines. The data safety section will launch on Google Play Store in late September. All developers must have their data safety form approved and include a privacy policy by July 20th. We've been mindful to give developers more time for policy changes that may take more work. So developers have until July 11th to comply with the new request install package policy and October 11th to comply with the user-generated content policy updates. And all apps must comply with the target API level policy by November. But if you need more time, you'll soon be able to request an extension until May 2023. To get a full view of all of our upcoming deadlines, please visit our Policy Center. We encourage you to review these policy updates carefully in case any of these updates impact your apps. I hope this helped you better understand our policies. For free courses on all things Google Play policy, visit our Google Play Academy at g.co slash playacademy slash policy. Thank you for continuing to partner with us to make Google Play a trustworthy platform for everyone. Until next time, Stay safe and healthy out there.